We're just full speed ahead into this arc. This one's called Ramarissa's Warning. I'm excited to find out what she has to say. I'm excited to find out how we're gonna take that info and beat some ass with it. What's up Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 2, Episode 15. This one's called Ramarissa's Warning. Last episode, we had the meeting continue. We had some crazy revelations. We were deducing who could have betrayed us, who could have done this that and the other yuki is the prime suspect he is the actual guy he's actual he's guilty but we just have to figure that out and we have to deal with him so i'm excited about all that i'm excited for everything if you guys are as well i say just leave a like on this video and leave me a nice comment because i'm excited that time i got reincarnated as a slime season 2 episode 15 remoris's warning let's do this <laughs> he said, hey. Yeah. Now, after seeing Veldora, nothing really shocks Fuse anymore. He's all out of surprise. <laughs> We're gonna have Veldora watch Ramorous. That would be me. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, he's already said to have gotten rid of the orc disaster, you know, he's already a, the champion. I'm giving him a little taste of his power, see if he's worthy. See if he doesn't buckle under the pressure. Mmm, that's a real leader question right there. That's a real deal question. What's your answer, Yum? Mm. Oh, she's like, hey, hey, hey. Level driving man crazy. I have faith in you. Yes, he is. I want to do the Black Clover thing so many times, bro. Hell yeah. Gazelle is a homie, bro. He's been He's been a homie for so long. Mm. Oh yeah. Like you focus on this, we focus on this. You get scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yes, we want some carrots, some corn, grapes. Ah, ah, ah. Let's do it. Is that Veldora? No, it's Erald. I guess, go ahead. That's such a dope wallpaper right there. As somebody who's just now entering this pact or just meeting Rimuru for the first time, I understand asking that question. I know, that's a very big question. What would that answer be? Mm. That's what, I mean, from where we started to where we are now, I think it's fully possible. Yes, yes. Aral the tactician. Looks like he, you know, chooses us. 
As the emissary of the Sorcerer's Dynasty of Talion, I request the establishment of diplomatic relations with the Jura Tepes Federation. I eagerly await your favorable reply. Now I'm doing Attack on Titans. Black Clovers. No, oh, Talion. Talion, Dwargan, Blumen. All fire. All homies. Easy. <laughs> That'd be me at a meeting like this. Oh, I'll have to have Rimuru on the building itself. That's funny. Got you, Gazo. We win in this. Yeah, he did some shady shit. The very long. It was a very long meeting. Lasted a few episodes. Another big step toward ideal. Yeah. Yeah, look at how beautiful that city looks with like a sunset and shit. God damn. Now we're over to Clay Man. Does he have his own Demon Lord seed he's trying to actually make? Even Laplace has his own thoughts going on. Ooh. Does he seriously think that or is he? Okay, because of what Rimuru did. So he doesn't know Mulan's still alive. Mm. Kazalim's above Clayman? No wonder he's got the Harlequin Alliance with him. Even before Kazalim. Ooh, Milam is so gangster. And he just disappears into the shadows. Okay, Laplace. I've never seen Clayman get this angry. Oh man, this shit's getting juicy. So we ended those diplomatic, we ended the diplomatic meeting in a great state, you know, confirming our ideals and our goals for the world, gaining Talion as a new ally. We got Talion, Blumund, and Dwargan now, which is fire. Um, I wonder where Ramoris is going to play into this because she came, got knocked out, and then is still asleep on Veldora's lap. So I'm, <laughs> I'm very curious where she's going to play a role into this. But uh, after that amazing meeting went down and everything, I love the ending, how it cut over to Clayman and Laplace, how that cuts back to the beginning of last episode, how Laplace was getting all that information for Yuki and Kazalim. I wonder if, Ka if Clayman knows about Kazalim or if Laplace is doing that on his own. Only reason I say that is because Laplace had his own thinkings of like his own inner monologue about Clayman was like, hmm, Clayman's getting a bit nervous. He's going a little bit too far. Like, was this, this is kind of this is kind of crazy for Clayman. And so, oh my God, this the introduction of Kazalim gets me so hyped because Kazalim's a good medium ground. Because we know Clayman's crazy. We know Milam is insane. So Clayman's the only one who lists. Oh, Clayman, the only person he'll he. How am I trying to say this? I'm an idiot. The only one who Clayman will listen to and take orders from is Kazalim, who is savage, now doesn't have nearly the power he used to, but Kazalim is even newer than Milam. So like some power scaling in there is great. I love that. I need to know more about the Harlequin Alliance though. Tyr, um, Laplace, Footman, all of them, how they're indebted to Kazalim. I need to know so many. I need to know so many more answers. I am so excited. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out that Patreon for early access, full length, all that jazz. Follow all the social medias, uh, all that. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. I appreciate you guys immensely. Have a great day, y'all.